Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 Insomnia Edition. Last time I think we went round the uh, the end of the temple where we fight all the undead and we meet withers and all of that stuff. And in doing that, we are now in possession of the Amulet of Lost Voices. Now what we can do with that is if we were... Oh, if we were to equip that very quickly, we now have access to speak with undead or speak with dead rather and we will have that benefit until we next long rest and since this is insomnia edition we will have it forever so we just need to find an undead that we can speak to so we will do that at our next opportunity otherwise for the meantime we definitely want to go climbing up this cliff Because up here, we're going to find something that is going to be very useful for us, particularly after Shadowheart is no longer in the party, because we can't all be here forever and we're going to have to rotate eventually. So we're going to climb up here. I'm going to try and not stay on the ladders too long, please, game. And then on this corpse, we find the silver pendant with the guidance divination cantrip. Necklace has a harper sigil. Why were they here? So we can put that on after we have done with the Amulet of Lost Voices. But this guy does not have a mouth, so they can't give us any kind of check in that regard. We will check the rest of what we find here. There's a little chest up there. Did we go and get the ruby yet? Or was I waiting for Lazel to do that? We might have even sold it by now. I can't remember. Can I see? It would be... Down there. But I can't quite tell if we've been and got the ruby yet. But that's fine. So we've got the cash and the jewels. Then there's the small matter of the cave of spiders. If we can see it, we can. What's that? At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Right. Uh, minus one on nature. Nature is intelligence. We don't have anyone particularly intelligent because Gale isn't here. But we have guidance. Guidance will be fine, right? Yeah. Minus one plus three. Everything is great. The creatures clutch the pack possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Right. Rogue, sleight of hand, plus three dex, plus one d4 guidance, plus two from smuggler's ring, plus two sleight of hand proficiency, plus two sleight of hand expertise. I think we'll be fine. Lovely. The spiders scatter and you stash the bat. Something clinks among the coins. Right, so we have pouch. In the pouch, we have cash and a spider egg sack. Now, we could fight the spiders, but I find it will be a needless endeavor for the 4 XP we would get for it, so we'll work our way back down. I moved my computer recently and unplugged everything and replugged everything and all of that stuff, and I'm really worried that I've completely screwed over all my audio levels and everything, because everything seems really loud, even though I have it at the usual 30 volume that I would typically have it at when I'm recording, so if this episode is phenomenally loud for any reason for you guys, let me know. Fingers crossed, it'll be fine. Right. Are the other two going to catch up? A long way to go still. You coming? You coming? Yes. Lazelle? Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. You coming? 
Thank you. Very well. All right, we didn't lose anything to falling damage, which is good. Let's come around this way. We will have this encounter here. I don't know. Or. We hidden or not? Or we will just deal with this problem in the fastest way. I can't stop the bleeding, Bray. That's a friendly looking shadow. That's a pretty fast way to go. We did not take damage through that. What spell? We hit them for 35 damage. Damn. Um, they were casting Healing Word and Command Flee. All right, well, we get through that Switch without taking any damage, which is always what we want to see. Some armor and a mace. Scroll of Greece, very happy to have it. And now might be the time. We can get to speak with dead going. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? All right, that's enough of that because the background noise is too much. But we now can recast Speak With Dead anytime we want up until the end of our next long rest. So forever, which is lovely. Right, where are we going next is a great question. Because I would like to... How are we doing on XP? Pretty far off level four. But that's where I would like to get to. But we're slowly running out of incredibly easy encounters. We looted those already on our way by to get the smuggler's ring. We looted all these folks as well, I think. Let's take a left here. We'll ignore that dead tiefling for a minute. Because just down here, and to the right, is the very bottom of Bog Rot. And at the very bottom of Bog Rot, there are two guards standing by. And I suspect... Where are we? We're going that way. I suspect we can pick off these two guards without too much trouble. Now, Astarian, I would like you to go around the long way so that after initiative is rolled with the others, after a first sneak attack, we have our second sneak attack as readily available as possible. Please don't kick that conversation off. I'm not here for it. Good. Yes, we know about Marina. She's off doing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. All right. Starion. Right there will be fine. Should have worn better boots. So, we are going to get our sneak attack in. We are on low ground. That is going to count against us, but we'll probably be fine. Your actions have drawn the ire of someone nearby. A fight is inevitable. Right, we have the initiative, which is lovely. You expect that more often, given that we have high dexterity as rogues. Uh, 
God. Our sneak attacks are doing so much work lately. Right. The battle music ends. Astarian gets back with the group. And we can pick through some pockets. I will take some poison. We'll need to probably make use of that at some point down the line. I don't want a I'm great exhausted. axe. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Better get used to being tired, my friend. Because that is not changing. Right, in some patches, there has been a group of goblins in this back courtyard here. But most recently... I don't think there has been. I'm not sure what prompted that change or if there was something I was doing on some occasions that I've stopped doing. But I think we can get in here and probably... What are we failing to see? I don't know. We all failed the check. But we can... Read the ledger. It says there's a cellar here somewhere. We will take. Mm, I don't see one. All of the potions and stones and bits and pieces that are remotely worthwhile to me. And then I know where the cellar is. So, let's sneak down here without drawing the attention of everybody else in the village. We can get unstealthy in here. Give me healing potion. One of these barrels has some good stuff in it, I'm sure. Or is it this chest? There's two healing potions. That's what we want to see. Also, a potion elixir of fire resistance until long rest again. We're going to have a lot of effects stacking up that are lasting until long rest. If we're lucky. Because obviously there's every chance that this could end tragically at a moment's notice. I'm familiar with how RNG goes. Elixir of Force Resistance. Potion of Invisibility may well be very important for an escape at some point. Wish I had a bag of holding. Basic Poison. Read the Healer's Log. I do wish I had a bag of holding. That would be great. Uh, I will take the water if I can spare the weight, just because the opportunity to throw it over fires or poison surfaces will be incredibly useful. And then, if you don't know, you walk over here. Passive check. Hmm. Scratch marks on the floor. We investigate that suspicious notion. We can come over here. Find this lever. And be on our way to more mysteries. Right, now we have to be a little bit more considerate of where we're going. Because there are threats abound. So. Game's going to do a quick save. Or an auto save. I always say the wrong one. And then we're in this room with... All of the caskets. So what we want to do is... I know that if we try and open one, problems occur. I'm not sure what happens if we simply try and destroy the caskets. So, Lazel. Oh, would you like to have a go? That's unexpected. Okay. That is expected. It just took a moment. Is somebody close enough that sneak attack can go off? No. Fine. I'm going to run to here. 
Bonus action hide. Sneak attack. Oh my god. Having a rough day, are we, sir? I still want to know if you could ever jump over there to find some secret in another patch as well. All kinds of things could change between now and 1.0. Should mind my step. Right, Lizelle. Assume Let's try the same trick twice. I don't know if now the rest of them won't have zombies in because we've done it once. Okay, no, we can certainly have more zombies. Oh, we actually missed. Out of sight, out of mind. How awfully unexpected. Right. Lazelle does not have dark vision. But did do 10 damage, which is solid. Astarian. Oh my god. Okay. Stab. No, we don't stab. We have a quarter staff equipped because for some reason. We want to do five damage. Six damage. It was so close. But what we are going to do is get close enough that when they... Oh, wait. We can offhand attack. Perfect. I was going to say, we'll get close enough that when they walk away, we might have a chance to... Uh, excuse me? We might have a chance to get an attack of opportunity in. Do we want another longbow? We have our light crossbow that does exactly the same. Two-handed, light crossbow, 60 feet, loading, equipped by Zara, longbow, 60 feet, heavy. No, I think we're fine. As ever, we could probably think about selling a lot of this stuff, but I'm not going to min-max everything. Right. Zara is managing to stealth in this moment. Oh, it's so good. Right, more stuff we don't need. A dark journal. Some of these details are going to be really important. I just can't remember which. Enough waiting. I crave blood. All right, Lizelle, let's do another. An agile guardian. There better be a soft bedroll in my near future. <laughs> Alright, we still did 6 damage because when you miss an attack, you are 3 bludgeoning damage anyway, and skeletons are vulnerable to bludgeoning damage, which is lovely. Now, would we rather one or the other? They have the same damage. Do you not have a longbow? You want a shortbow? We should definitely change that. So many critical hits. Astarian. You are on a short bow. Well, we can change that immediately. So we go from 1d6 plus 3 damage to 1d8 plus 3 damage. In case you weren't aware, that is more. Then there was this Agile Guardian. An Arrow of Ilmatar. And another Longbow, of course. The extra walk I didn't need to take. Right, I'm going to leave these two for last because I think one of them has something I might want in it. Like it's will be done. But I don't want to break it. Good. Oh, wow. A rare treat. 
Astarian, you're also in initiative here. Good grief. Lazel, please hit them with vulnerability. Oh my god. This feels good. Okay. This is unideal. We can't get close enough to offhand attack. So you're gonna hide. You're gonna hide. We are gonna just stand here. Shadowheart isn't in the initiative yet. Excellent attack on the reaction. Again, they're vulnerable to bludgeoning damage, so that's all good for us. Astarian, what do you have equipped on these? Keep your blade close. Dagger and a short sword. Have another short sword, Astarian. Two short swords is better than a dagger and a short sword. Lazel, you know what to do. Glad our hiders get to act. Don't want to think about why my eye is itching. Yeah, don't think about itchy eyes. Time to strike. They should be well lit, right? Twenty-two damage. Right, another longbow. A little cliff up there. All right, then we have the last two. This is the scroll of summon quasit that I wanted. And taking that does not cause any problems. We are surprised. Better make camp soon. But nothing happens. There's another chance to rest. All right, I thought at least one would come out of this moldering casket, but... Oh! It does if you break it. How unexpected. Shadowheart up first. Interesting change of pace. Right, this might be the first hit we take. It was not. It's gone delightfully well. Right, let's just try this last one here. That's it. Managed to not break it. That one doesn't have anything in. Right, I tell you what. Because we're not going to long rest. Let's cast this now. Because it lasts until long rest. of sulfur fills your nose. Wait, you're not Illy. Your scroll was in an undead's casket. Who were they? The blacksmith, the teacher, the grocer, the baker, little piggies to the butcher. So, you're Shovel's master now. Fine. Who's Illy? Master Illy. Wonderful. He tricks them, heals them, <laughs> then they die. So sudden, so mysterious. Shovel comes, shovel takes them, then we raise them, make them walk. Necromancer, your kind call him. Fun, I call him. What happened to him? Don't know, don't care. Wait, are you horny for the book? Illy never shut up. I don't remember that line of that conversation. What book? Oh, oh, Master should go see. Talk to the mirror and remember, balsam, good for burns. All right, then. We have a new friend. Go to the mirror. 
Speak your name. Uh, Ara Silverleaf. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. I'm an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastan? Oh god. Seven years bad luck. We go with that because I can't remember which way around this check goes. Give me some guidance on that. Oh god. All right, inspiration. Good. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then I wonder if you can actually destroy the mirror. What were they hiding down here? Treasure, my friend. Scroll of Featherfall. Basilisk Oil. Mine. Now, part of the problem we're going to have is that if we are hoarding everything and never sleeping, I suppose we don't need to carry supplies with us, so that will free up a lot of our carry weight, but everything else is just going to end up rattling around our inventory forever. And every time I try and say it, my brain can't decide whether I'm going to say inventory or inventory. Inventory. Rusty key. Thank you. I've got enough water. We'll open that up. Loads of poison. I'm going to leave all the fungus. Astarian's having time with himself in the corner. I'll take all the shiny rocks, though. Then more scrolls. Great fuel for Gale down the line. Is Lord knows we're going to need it. Do you have gold on you? No. Should have figured you are without pockets. Can I get this antidote? Just barely. The evil eye... Gilded chest, scroll of detect thoughts, circlet of fire. When you deal fire damage with a non cantrip spell, gain a bonus action. Scroll of grease. Don't need anything out of an empty casket. And then we come to this. Uh, let's disarm this. We will be needing guidance for that. Good. So that plate is broken. We have a key for this. Now, I've never tried to disarm this plate before. But it's really, really not a trap I want to accidentally end up in. So, Lazelle, oh, enough waiting. you Please. know the Mage Hand cantrip. As a gift Yankee. So then we can throw this book to here. Interesting. That's what awaits you if you let that happen. That fire can rage on. We can collect the book. It is not too late. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. A cursed book. How obvious. Who 
whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? What does the Starian know? Uh, right. We're gonna drop the tome. You feel better the second the book is out of your hands. You can't be serious. Give it to me this instant. The voices return, louder, stronger, commanding you to stop. But they have no hold on you. All you have to do is strike. If we examine this book, it's immune to everything but radiant damage. So Shadowheart has Sacred Flame. Should we not all be stood right next to it when we do this? It's been a long, long time since I've done this, and I don't know how it resolves. Uh, the target cannot be an inanimate entity. Excuse me? What if we just shoot it? That's interesting. How am I going to do radiant damage to it if I can't do... my radiant damage cantrip? That's a pain in the butt. Um... We could cast Guiding Bolt on it, but A, we could miss, and B, it doesn't seem like a worthwhile use of Guiding Bolt. The book is locked tight. You try to examine. Well, we haven't annoyed anybody now. We're doing it a second time. If the gods are watching me. All right, then. We will get out of this basement. Mostly the way we came in. And we now have shovel in tow. So shovel can become invisible, which may well become very useful down the line. Still breathing, despite everything. But for right now, what is going on? Oh, it's just cobwebs. Gross. But right now, we are alive. We continue to miraculously be uninjured. But there's all kinds of threats in this village, and we're going to have to figure out how to deal with them next time. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying Baldur's Gate 3 Insanity... Insanity? In... In... What's the... Ah, uh, what's the word? You don't sleep. Insomnia edition. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.